On this episode of Saturn Archives, the only good Deadless is a dead Deadless. Robotica is today's game. So of course we have to start with the cover. It's a nice cover. I don't know uh, what more there is to say. You got your weird round beetle-like robot shooting. You got Deadless in the background looking cool and, uh, and some mechs in an explosion. It's a bit of a messy cover, but it's got a lot going on and I, I, I dig it. All right, because I still know how to use my Saturn, let's just skip straight to this story. The year is 2877 and the Earth is facing a new challenge. 800 years ago, a single world government was formed, transcending the regions, peoples, and religions which previously constituted the world order. It was a chaotic time, and the WSSS, World Silent Security Service, was established to resolve the disputes and violence that broke out across the globe. The mission of the WSSS is to protect the safety and human rights of all mankind. It belongs to no government organization and takes no action on its own, with its own unique methods. The base of the WSSS is the WSSS Central Control Fortress, codenamed Deadless. Deadless was built in space, far from the Earth, on a gigantic asteroid. The fortress can function completely autonomously, taking in no supplies from the outside. It is the symbol of the WSSS, achieving the ideal and harmed by nothing. In the 800 years Deadless has been active, there have been no wars between men, but people's ideas have changed. People committed to a single state encompassing all mankind have disappeared. Some worship Deadless like a god, placing their entire lives in its hands. Others are tired of being bound by the old ideas and have struck out as the revolutionary faction known as Robotica. These two philosophies often come into conflict, which Deadless is repeatedly called on to suppress by any means necessary. On the surface, these appear to be minor conflicts but below the surface Robotica's freedom fighters have been arming themselves and steadily gaining strength. The rebels have secretly modified a jail colony where prisoners are sent, thereby fashioning a base for their activities. Modification of the colony is finished, and Robotica has the strength to take full-scale action and end the dictatorship of Deadless. They make their move, and... that That's it. The story just kind of ends with and there. The, uh... <clears throat> the reason why we're actually looking, we're bothering to look at the control pad thing is it actually has a bit more at the bottom here. But one thing I wanted to point out was this Y button that opens gate and accesses computers without firing. I'm reading this uh, manual and doing this portion of the video after playing it. So you'll see that I, I don't know that while I'm playing it. But let's learn about reclaiming the fortress deadless. You operate the state-of-the-art Laocorn, the most advanced in... Sorry, that's just a weird name. Laocorn? Laocorn? I don't like it. The most advanced invasion vehicle yet produced. Your mission to retake the base sounds simple, but it isn't. Proceed from floor to floor, blasting all enemies which get in your way. You need to find a gate key on each floor, which allows you to access the elevator to the next floor. Items useful to you are scattered on the floors. To obtain a gate key or other item, move the Laocorn over one. Alright, that's pretty straightforward, although I really don't like saying... Is it cause, is it the corn? I think it's the corn part I don't like. And another page I would normally skip when doing this is telling me about the game over. Yes, I know, when I reach zero health, I'll die, etc, etc. But you can't really tell by the, the screenshot here, because the quality isn't great for this image. But it says the thing here... To play the game again, highlight Invasion's WSSS. You'll restart the game from the last floor, yada yada, or highlight Connect Out and press Start to select that, and it exits. And if you look closely at the, the screenshot here, it's, it says uh, to return to inside the Fortress Deadless, you can choose Invasion's uh, WSSS, obviously, or Connect Out. And at the bottom it says don't repeat the same error. However, when I got game over in the game, the options were re-enter the Deadless Fortress and abort mission, which I'll put up on the screen now, and there wasn't a thing after that. So I don't know if this was from a, like uh, that screenshot or this page was from a different region and they just didn't fix it while changing the game. I don't know, but I just thought it was weird that we were lied to in the instruction manual. 
And then uh, another interesting thing, of course, there's all the different st stuff you can get, which I didn't care to look over. But then I saw this power down one. And I thought that was a neat mechanic that I didn't encounter when playing. And it was, if you linger on any floor for too long, bug sweeper enemies locate you and place these in your path. Touching one will decrease the power of all your weapons by one level. I didn't actually get a level up thing at all until around the end of my time playing it. And I don't even think I noticed it while I was playing. But uh, I just thought that was a bit of an interesting thing. And then we got to get through all the characters. Of course, we got the one we're playing as. I'm going to call it by its code name because I'm sick of that f fucking Laucorn bullshit. Uh, the machine which the player operates inside Deadless, the Laucorn. Oh, damn it. I just did it again. It's controlled by a psycho control system which synchronizes the main system and the pilot's mind. This is a highly expandable machine to which many different options can be mounted, thereby enabling response to any situation. And next up is uh, the enemies, of course. This one's Quattro. It's uh, suicidal, I guess. Yada yada. Despite its appearance, the machine can make sharp turns using the hover units at the bottom of its legs. Originally, these units were used to transport materials for the construction of Deadless. After the construction phase was finished, they were modified for use in patrolling the fortress. Although the original chassis was designed or chassis, if you will. Designed for transport, the Quattro has enough attack strength to expel an ordinary battalion. And we got the Aro bit that uses a laser cannon. These machines hover in the air and are posted at doorways and other entrance points to guard against intruders. These systems were des uh, designed to watch prisoners in the jail colony. They're equipped with anti-gravity boosters which enable them to levitate. That's great for them. A uh, volcano, which I think I only encountered nearing the end. This unit moves nimbly using the jet rollers mounted to its four legs. A scientist at the... at the what? Sar Sargilod... Oh, that's the name of the corporation. You know what? Screw it. Develop the volcano to function in cramped areas. Based on the design of the Deadless Fortress, the jet rollers at the bottom of the unit's legs can freely change their drive direction, and this, combined with the unit's slim body, provides an attack potential in close quarters surpassing that of any other type. Uh, there was one that I didn't actually encounter, so I'm going to skip it. And then this thing called the Curve Goon. Rather than intercepting at a fixed position, like the R1 robot, or arrow bit, this unit is regarded as a mobile pillbox, which searches out and eliminates enemy targets. The head mount cannon fires only a single round, but its power is tremendous. Well, one thing I learned while playing is that it won't actually fire at you until you fire at it. There were a couple more enemies in the manual here, but because I didn't encounter them in the game, I'm not going to go over them, because as you've seen, it's pretty dry reading these descriptions. So what do you say we move on to the game? In 2077, the regional nation-state that had until then helped maintain world order on Earth collapsed, and in its wake, a planetary government emerged to rule over mankind. To resolve the disputes, riots, and struggles that periodically erupted around the globe, WSSS was formed, separate from regular government organizations. A core system for planetary control was established, not on Earth, but in space. It was referred to as the WSSS Central Control Fortress, Deadless. After Deadless was established, mankind lived in peace for 800 years. The global state system had been designed to unify mankind, but eventually, all those who could explain the original reason for its existence had disappeared. People's views of it now began to change. Some started to worship Deadless. Others began to protest the notion of living under the restrictions of what they saw as an increasingly archaic system. Clashes began to occur with increasing frequency between these two groups, with Deadless repeatedly trying to suppress them. On the surface, these were the minor conflicts. Underground terrorists from the reformist faction were arming and steadily growing in strength. Their first operation will be an attempt to destroy Deadless itself. Alright, we're all caught up on the history of Deadless. Which I believe was actually the original name for this game in Japanese. 
maybe not original, I don't know where, where this was made, but I think it is Daedalus in some regions. But in this region, it is Robotica. I remember I picked this game up uh, at a flea market when I was a kid, back when the flea market was cool. Now it's just old people's junk. All right, we have a uh, standard first person shooter controls. Oh, B is, is like a sprint. C is fire. What's the other thing? Oh, the hover jet's just very fast. All right, I just gotta, I gotta figure around with what's going on here. Okay. That protects me. I only have a certain amount of this. Well, my fuel is already pretty low now. I'm just gonna leave it on refresh, actually, because that might be restore health. Okay. So Z is to switch between the things I got. And apparently there's a level? Am I gonna level these things up? I can hold it too. All right, well, until I run out of ammo, let's just go ahead and use this gun. Oh, the frame rate gets really good when I'm looking at nothing over in this corner. Look at how smooth that is. And then I turn and it's all gone. Once again, we have a pretty handy map. Oh, C is also to open doors. I thought I would have to shoot it to open it up. Oh, hi. All right, shot those two characters. As the, uh instruction manual so oddly put it instead of enemies we got characters so that's something this map doesn't seem all that big is that like map in the top left gonna scroll at some point can you shoot through this ow yes we both can How's that weird acceleration turn thing that I don't care too much for? Where it's like there's a bit of a a bit of hesitation before the mech actually turns. What? So if I don't have the gate key, it just fucking waste a shot. But yeah, it's one of those ones where it's trying to create the feeling of controlling a machine by giving you a bit of input delay. Oh, that can just be opened. That must be the gate key in the middle there. I have a feeling that this is going to hurt if I step over it. So maybe I want to... Oh, use the hover jet! I just hovered over it without picking that stuff up. I'll just take some damage. Found the gate key. Search for the exit gate. Maybe I want to pick shit up though. I can't say for sure. There's still so much more to explore. Look, see. There's ammo that I would have missed. Oh. Thank goodness their projectiles move so much slower than mine. Guess just gonna lead to this. What? That was the room I started in. How is there an enemy here? How did you get here? Ah! And why are you guys here at all?
I don't know, how does that work? Are they moving around? Are they intelligent? Look at how fast my run is, it's impressive. Still controls a bit awkwardly. You know what? I know, fuck that extra room. Let's just get around this corner. When you're in hallways, you have like no room. Yeah, you're pretty much locked in. I can move like a little bit to the left and right, but like hallways are more or less on rails. I did it. That first level is fucking easy. Oh, floor two. Ow, why would you drop me straight onto the thing that hurts me? What a load of shit that is. All right, let's go this way then. That boost is pretty fun, I like it. Oh, it's you. Got that, uh, that draw distance stuff that we had. Cause, uh, well this is actually, Genwar was played before this and Genwar had a bit of that, that draw distance problem too. Oh, hi! difference between this and Genwar though is uh, right off the bat quite obviously we're using uh, it's all sprites the enemies are all sprites which uh, sometimes depending on how the sprite work is done uh, is a good way to prevent aging in a game Let's get real close. Let's try to get real close and look at it. Yeah, see that? It still looks okay. Whereas sometimes 3D models, you know, depending on how long it's been, it can be like, you know, it looks bad now. The art design's a little messy, a little sloppy looking. Or I find sometimes in the cases of uh, like pre-rendered uh, sprites, they can look kind of ugly. Oh, is that radar thing? Tell me where enemies are. That like middle left thing? Is there gonna be an enemy right here? Or is it something else? Is it this? No, that's regular wall dressing. Let's do something on the other side of this door. Okay, yeah, that's enemy radar. My shield is already down to 50%. Something tells me this video is not going to be a very long one. The way the floors are kind of laid out and the way things look, this is going to be a bit of a weird pull, but it kind of looks like Digimon World 2 to me. The way it's just straight hallways into rooms with like a clear like a uh, grid system to them. The way everything's squarey looking. It just reminds me very much of Digimon World 2. That's do I have it? Did I pick it up at some point? I did not. I gotta find the gate key. That map's really great though, just the entire map on screen all at once. Again, or had a cool oh there's gonna be lots of guys on the side of this I'm gonna open him back up that guy's bristyle didn't even reach me I saw it coming I see you shooting I'm gonna rush out into it oh I can even sidestep quickly stop There we go. Yep, when I when I was a kid I didn't I don't remember playing a whole lot of this game. I played it a little bit, and then I think I got tired of the same environment. Cause I'm pretty sure it's this. It's what we're seeing for quite a while. Oh gosh! Guys just like respawn in rooms I've been to already. I don't get it. Are enemies respawning? Is it? Are they placed randomly? Or 
Or are they actually moving around? Are they moving around in, in a way? Oh, I didn't look at my radar. I wasn't prepared. Pretty, uh... Pretty unforgiving that I didn't recover my fuel. I found the gate key. Now I can leave. This might be a shortcut. This might be a fast way to get where I want to be. That boosting doesn't seem to use any resource, which is kind of nice. Oh, there it is. Nope. There. Nope. There it is. Just took me a moment. Floor three. Okay. Yeah, I gotta. I gotta wonder how much of this is randomized because it seemed a little silly to place me on a, a damaging plate right in the second stage, right off the bat. Oh, you're like a faster version. Yeah, see that? I ran into the room so I'd avoid getting hit in the time it would take me to turn and face the fucking enemy. You gotta work with what you got. This, uh, I've seen... I haven't played Enemy Zero, but from what I've seen, this kind of looks like it, does it not? I do have that game. I actually, before I was really into the Saturn uh, community and scene and really looking up prices, it was just kind of like I would check eBay on occasion or some other resources and be like, oh, that looks like a good price. I wasn't really too invested in it like I am these days. Are those like kamikaze robots or something? Well, whatever the case, I managed to find uh, Enemy Zero at a pretty good price. Of course, it didn't have the manual, which was a bit of a bummer, but Hey, you can't win them all. So I would like to LP that game sometime. Apparently it's one of the more valuable, one of the more sought after ones. And because I really like D, I did a... Oh, is that the key? That's what the key looks like, right? Is this thing? Yeah. I really like D. I haven't played D2. I've seen enough of it to know I would really like to. Yeah, why don't we just leave? We don't need to go. We don't need to check every every little nook and cranny. Maybe if this had like a re-release on a PlayStation console with trophies, I would be more obliged to uh to f see all the things if there was a trophy telling me to, but we're just, we're just enjoying a video game, just casually enjoying this Robotica today. Stop! Stop! <laughs> it took me two tries last time, too. Okay. Oh, look at that. Look at that maneuvering. I wonder if there's going to be a change of scenery soon. Because I don't know how long I want to do this for. It's a... Oh, stop it. Just open doors. Why is opening doors so tough? The biggest challenge so far has been opening these fucking doors. What is that? Ah! See, that looks good. What is it, though? Oh, now it's an opponent. It wasn't an opponent until I fired at it. Oh, this looks like a thing. Is this a thing? Oh, does it just reveal the entire map? Yeah, I guess so. 
It looks like the blue is where I haven't been and the grayish ah So that little that little thing wait, can I damage the walls? No, those were damaged before I was shooting at them, I think. I'm trying to give this game more credit than it's deserved. Yeah, it seems like the gray areas are areas I've explored then. Just so I know, because I really did like knowing where I had and had not been yet. Apparently there's still someone in there. Oh! Coming up behind me? Oh, you don't, you don't self-destruct, you just crash. You just smash right into me. That's a bit inconsiderate. Is that something I want? It's a supplement missile. Alright, what was my weapon change? Oh, look at all this. I still have my arm punch, but I haven't, which I haven't used. I've been using Vulcan this whole time. Let's use laser. That seemed to do the trick a little faster. It doesn't change what my gun looks like. But it does change what the gun does. find what I was looking for in this very plain place. Ow! Shield's down to 42%. I don't remember if I picked the key up or not. I guess let's just go find out. Oh, it's another one of you! Well, this missile doesn't fuck around. That took him out right away. There's somebody right around this corner. Oh, there it is. I feel like all of my projectiles are just... They're just a... Well, that one's an orange thing. Yeah, that's yellow and the... The missile is just kind of a yellow thing. They don't look particularly interesting. I'm gonna use this fucking arm punch though. On you! There we go. I, I had to use it just once. Yeah, enemies are just coming back in places I've been already. That was something of a reward for doing a couple stages. What the shit is this? I can't see a goddamn thing. It's dark here. Search for the computer and turn on the light. My shots do not create light. Maybe this is where I stopped playing as a kid. Because what am I supposed to do? Just hug the wall until I find it? And how will I know I found it when I see it? Is it going to be obvious? The frame rate is very high. Now that I can't see anything, look at how smooth it is. Everything's so fast. Oh, not now that I'm looking at this room. Even though the static when getting hit is kind of is annoying, I s like the effect. Ah, you're so fast. Where are you? Oh, my shield's already down to 16? I think this is going to be a pretty short video, you guys. I can't find that computer and I got my ass kicked by that fast thing in the dark. Oh, there's people back in this room that I've already been to. Did I kill it? Yeah, I think it's gone. You can't even trust rooms you've been to.
Now that beeping's gonna go on for a while until I get some sort of health thing. Oh my god, it's stressful. There's something in the dark. Oh, it's one of those that's gonna kill me for sure. I died. Do I get another shot at that stage? Alcorn out of control at level 4 5, 20 minutes, 58. Yeah, I want to re enter the Deadless Fortress. But do I have to do that from floor 1? That's the big question. I like all this jargon, it's a nice effect. It doesn't mean a damn thing. All right. That was a cool menu. I liked it. Link straight into my brain. I want to take another swing at that darkness level, if that's where it's going to put me. But only if that's where it's going to put me. All right, four or five. Let's let's go this way this time. I'm gonna get it right. You fucking count on it. How much stuff do I have? I have a, a bit of things. Okay, Vulcan's fine. It's gonna be something right in the door. Ow! Damn, it's one of those fucking tough things. Okay. So far, okay. I don't know what the computer looks like. Please help. Hopefully, I'll just know it when I see it. That's really what I'm banking on here. That was one of those fast fuckers. I'm afraid to- oh, I think I got it. Now there's just a guy over here. Alright, I got him. But there's shit on the floor that's gonna kick my ass if I'm not careful. Oh, there's the key! I mean, all I have to do is find the exit now. I don't necessarily need to turn on the, the lighting computer, do I? So should I head back the way I came and take that right path? Because that's what I did last time. Yeah, I've got a strong feeling that this is where, where child TK stopped, stopped caring. Was this darkness level probably kicked my ass as a child like it is as an adult. Wait, are things different? Ah! Yeah, I think my suspicions about things being randomized might be correct. Well, oh, I still found it, though. See, that was definitely a different level layout. So things are randomized. There's no way to know. It is dark. It is still dark. I was really hoping that would be a thing that just lasted for one stage. It'll probably be, be up against a wall, right? Oh, there's things in this room. Oh, it's those strong things. But I couldn't really tell because it was so dark. Wait, this is a computer, right? Oh yeah, the lights are on now. And I got the whole map. Now the game's gonna be fucking easy. None of this fucking darkness bullshit. Fuck that. 
Someone's writing on the other side of this door. Dang it. Oh, it's this guy again. What's the other one? Oh, the other one's one of those two. But they're not an, even an enemy until you shoot them. So when you shoot them, you make sure you shoot them a lot all at once so they can't respond. That's the trick. But if you accidentally hit them in the dark, you might be a little fucked. Oh, gosh! Oh, he's just shooting at me already. Maybe it's because I walked into it. I shouldn't have been sidestepping like that. You should always, always face the way you're gonna go. Unless you were born in a barn. Alright, I got the key. I mean, I might as well go this way. What? Is this a wall? Oh no, that's a door. Ah, uh, there's no sidestepping in here. Yeah, that radar's pretty handy. It makes up a bit for the bad draw distance. It's gonna be a dickhead in this hallway coming up. I'm gonna be fucking ready for him. You just watch. Oh, it's one of these guys again. There we go. Oh, another dickhead in this next hallway. Or in this room, I guess. What if I just book it to the door? Oh, there's so many of them. Fuck it. It's time to go. And I've gone. Strength that it's always a drop down. I go through a door. Not... And then I drop into the next floor. You'd think I'd start the next stage in front of another door. Is there, perhaps, a computer on every stage that fills out the map, just randomly placed somewhere, that I'm just, I've been not seeing for the most part? And every now and then the game's just gonna go dark until I find one, on whatever stage it determines. Like, would the game, would this stage be dark, is my question. If I hadn't have found the computer in the last stage, would it have continued to be dark? Oh, there's the key on the other side. Oh, I can just go around. And then tons of shots right at this guy. Oh, I'm down to 20 out of 50 of these fucking things. I forgot how limited my shots were. But I already have the key, so that's nice. As soon as I find the way out of here, I can just leave. Oh, hey peeps. I don't know what the fuck this thing is. That's new. Beef. Shield's looking pretty low. And that's it for Vulcan. I still have a bit of laser though. Ow, that hit me. I'm so wide. Now yeah, my shield's at 7%. We're gonna be beeping until I find that bloody exit door. There doesn't seem to be anything in this room. Well, I mean, except for the key, of course, but I mean... Ow! I feel like the, the rapidness of that beefing is wholly dependent on the frames per second currently on display. Okay, alright. Oh, you again! No fair, I can't dodge in a hallway. Shield the two. not looking good for me. There's a lot of enemies here. Oh gosh. Yep, that's it for me. Well, that game was kind of the same thing over and over again. It was fine, but not something I really want to commit to. Now let's see where this leaves, leaves me off, because last time I got to a cutscene, and that seemed to be like a checkpoint. 
Yeah, I was at floor seven. Is it if I re-enter, is it gonna put me back at floor seven? Alright, back to floor five, back in the dark. That's it for Robotica.